Welcome back guys, this is Alcoholic Endeavors, and today we are going to be making the Adios Motherfucker. I'm already a drink and a shot in, and I just, I want to see how far I can go with this. So, I've had this before, but it's been, again, an extremely long time since I've had this. It's been a, quite a long time since I've actually had this stuff, or had like an Adios Motherfucker. But we're just going to go ahead and get down into it. I think I saw this online, or my friend sent this to me, or I seen it at the bar. I don't remember off the top of my fucking head. I probably should have washed this out. Washed out. <laughs> That's a horrible washout. Anyways, you'll need a shaker, you'll need a jigger. You also will need, um, if I push these over to the side for right now. You'll need sweet and sour mix, you'll need a Sprite, yeah, Sprite. Uh, you'll need tequila, it says to use 1800 silver, I had 1800 silver, I got rid of the 1800 silver because it tastes disgusting. This is the only tequila that I can actually stand. Um, gin, uh, blue curso, and um, you'll also need some vodka of some sort. You can go higher if you want, but... It'll literally become an adios motherfucker if you go any higher than probably, like, 90 proof. <laughs> 80 proof, 90 proof. I do have 190 proof, but I'm not touching that if I can if I can get away with it, because uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. So let's just go ahead and get down into making this. You need an ounce of all the base spirits, I believe. The base stuff. So, vodka... Gin, tequila, and um, rum. Did I say rum? We needed rum. Yeah, we need rum. Um, I forgot about rum because, yeah. I'm not entirely sure why I forgot about it. Mostly probably because it wasn't actually down on the thing. Uh, you need rum. One ounce as well. One ounce of gin. This thing is very boozy, um, there's like literally no, uh, almost no, like, mixers in this. It's very close to being that. It last I remember, anyways. I mean, you got the blue curve, so you got the sweet and sour and Sprite, but this is like a very boozy type of drink, kind of like the, um, what is it? What was it? The Island Iced Tea or something like that? Anyways, one and a half ounces of Blue Curacao. Which I know I'm running out, but I have another bottle underneath the bar here. Kind of forgot that I need to bring this out a little bit more, though. This camera can actually see everything that I'm doing. Not just this little area that I used to be able to see. And then two ounces of sweet and sour mix. And again, not gonna lie, that's a lot of sweet and sour mix. Though, honestly, you probably won't even fucking taste it. There's a very good chance that you probably won't taste it. Unfortunately, most of my ice has melted already, which is very unfortunate. And pour into your class choice. Um, I think it's supposed to be a highball glass, but all I got is one of these glasses, because I haven't got around to buying, like, highballs and hurricane and, um, cocktail glasses and, uh, other things. Haven't gotten around to it. And then it says an ounce of Sprite, but I'm going to go just a hair bit more. Like so, but probably closer to an, an ounce and a half. And this is the Adios Motherfucker. Uh, if I had 190 proof in it, I'd be scared to take a sip out of it because I know I'd taste the booze. But let's just go ahead and take a sip out of it. Oh, man. 
That sweet and sour and blue curacao, that's what all you can taste. You cannot taste anything else in it. it you could definitely feel the burn off of a lot of things here. Um, I can definitely taste the tequila. I'm not a big tequila fan. Oh, hello, spider. Sorry to say that you're dead, but you're dead. Oh, man. Whew. No. Mm -mm. Sorry to say, but this is not my type of drink. It's... I don't know. It's a little too sweet for me, in a really fucked up way, because I really like sweet drinks. It's just curiosity, okay? Why did I add more sugar to this? Who knows? But I did it anyways. Because I'm a sucker for sweet stuff, I guess. But I'm wondering if maybe that'll tone down the blue curacao and sweet sour mix. The answer to my question is no. No, it doesn't. Um, and that was a waste of simple syrup. Either way, um, yeah. This is not a drink that I care for, but if you want to get drunk really quickly, or if you're already drunk and can't taste anything anyways, make this. Because <laughs> all you'll be able to taste is the blue curso and the tequila. If you love tequila, go for it. I can't handle tequila. Tequila is disgusting to me. There's definitely too much sweet and sour mix in here. Um, the blue, I mean, it makes a nice, pretty blue, deep blue, like, color, but I just... It's not my thing. It's not my thing. Um, it's, uh... We could have probably went a little less on the sweet and sour mix, a little less on the blue curse, so... Went a little more on the Sprite, maybe. I gotta finish off the Sprite anyways, but... I mean, overall, it's... I'd give it about... 5 out of 10. Probably. Maybe 6 out of 10. At least in my personal tastes and everything. The alien urine sample that I tasted was at least a good 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. Um, yeah. Not the, uh, not the most tastiest thing I've ever had. There's other ones out there that are much, much better. Um, this is not one of those. I don't know why the fuck I keep taking a sip out of this one. I know I hate it. <laughs> Ugh.